Hey, woo! it's raining and that's how we do it here in Oregon. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal, 1153. Stay with us, we're gonna go see a new consignment. I'm out here in the rain. We're gonna go inside, but take a look at 1153. New coach, if you're looking to get into a really nice pre-owned marathon, this is a good choice. Let's go take a look. First thing I wanna point out, let's take, let's take a look, John. Bay one is the generator bay. Bay two has this really nice slide out. Take a look at that. Really nice slide out. Goes all the way through. And then of course, bay three on the curbside is the entertainment bay. Very nice. All right, let's do it. Great floor plan in 1153. Pre-owned Marathon XL double slide. Take a look. You've got the two recliners on the curbside with a really nice occasional table with storage underneath. One of the things about this coach is the colors. Look at this beautiful floor where John is standing. He's got a good shot of the floor and the ceiling. This is a really nice coach that plays well today. You know, for a coach that is uh, over 10 years old, this is a fantastic coach. Love the color of these leather seats. These recliners look like they've barely been used. Well taken care of. Coach 1153. Jack knifing sofa on the driver's side. And of course the L-shaped dinette uh, over here behind it. We're gonna get into the um, rest of the coach in just a second, but hope everyone had a good weekend. I'm back from the desert, going back in just a little bit, but uh, a lot going on down there. Got some uh, end of the year parties coming up and uh, there is a coach down there and I think you saw it on last week's show. So that's 11.48. And this is 1153. So the two coaches are very similar with the exception of 48 is a triple slide. This is a, uh, and that's an H. <laughs> um, but floor plan and arrow wise, about the same. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, in the galley here, one of the things that really stood out to me is the very large double sinks. A lot of people prefer a double sink. Um, and also, in this era of coach, you used to get a lot of gold in your hardware, gold hardware. This is a really nice nickel plated um, or a silver finish. So for those of you who are worried about, oh, it's gold and I'm gonna have to update everything. This is a really, really nice finish when it comes to uh, all of the hardware throughout this coach, something you don't have to consider if you don't like gold. This one is already taken care of with the um, nickel finish. Um, yeah, love. I love uh, a lot of things about this coach, but this floor and the ceiling really stand out to me. I'm a big fan of these ceilings that can be contemporary at the same time, and this hardwood floor all the way back to the tile in the midship. Really nice in this coach storage above and below when it comes to the dinette area and also storage above and below when it comes to the galley okay dishwasher of course sub-zero refrigerator okay and of course sub-zero freezer john i'm gonna let you when you walk by here take a look at this very large area here for storage in your galley Big pantry, you guys, big pantry. Five deep and wide shelves right across from the Sub-Zero. That's really nice to have. Okay, into the midship. And you guys know there's pocket doors throughout. It wouldn't be a marathon well-engineered without these pocket doors closing off all the areas of the coach. Okay, take a look at that water closet. I'm gonna let John get in there and take a look. really good colors now this coach is available this is a new consignment coming into marathon if you're looking to get into a marathon you know how to reach me m-a-l-w that's mal-w at marathoncoach.com 
I don't give my phone number out on the internet, so if you want to call me, um, email me first and I'll give you my number. Really nice shower with a good size seat. Very nice. John, I'm going to switch sides with you in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go all the way to the back side of the coach and show you the closet. Let's go with closet door here. So uh, lots of storage in this coach. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a second here. Uh, really big closet back here. And as you can see, it's one of those closets that you can get all the way in and sit down. <laughs> lots of good storage in this uh in this coach very very nice good uh good natural light coming in around the bed and it's got uh you know this coach i'm going to tell you right now wins the award for storage because there's not even a tv you know a lot of people don't like tvs in their bedroom um, the bedroom is for sleeping. That's what my mother used to say. Um, that's an interesting conversation for another day, but tons of storage here because there is no TV situated over here and you get all this natural light coming in right here because there's no TV over the window or partial of the window. So I really like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch sides with you, John, cause I am going to show them a few things this way. Okay. More storage throughout here but also no coach isn't complete without a full washer dryer there's your stacking ascos right here very very cool and john just found something uh that i was not aware of on this when you talk about tvs and uh keeping it clean one of the things about keeping it clean is hiding tvs and that's kind of the little easter egg we can throw you Take a look at that. Isn't that cool? And just with the push of a button, down it goes right into the cabinetry. That's trick and that's custom and that also eliminates the TV over that window. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, just when you think it's all over, take a look at this. You've got more closet space here. So you've got that huge closet in the back, but you've got this really large closet right here across from the washer dryer. And to kind of illustrate the size of it, now I'm standing in here. So it's definitely a room you can get into. And it's got nice drawers. It's got four drawers at the bottom and a three foot hanger bar above. So that's fantastic. And you can just close it off and one of the things is it goes pretty deep because of the way that this hallway is angled. If, you, if you're not here live with me, I can tell you that it's a little bit of a curve right here because it narrows in a little bit, but not too narrow. It achieves a whole lot of space. It gives it more of a dimension that goes further back in the closet. So just provides for a lot of storage. So with the storage here, with this closet and the rear closet, it's it's got it's got a lot lots of drawers above and below cabinetry everywhere so yeah really really cool all right i'm gonna leave that closet door open john so you can show that one more time wow 1153 Beautiful, beautiful coach. This one can be yours. If you're looking to trade in, if you're looking to upgrade, if you're looking to get into a marathon, M-A-L-W, that's malw at marathoncoach.com. Coach 1153 can be yours. It is available as we speak. So um, get at me. Let's get you into a coach. Let's get you down on the road. Got a few things coming up over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to do a pre-record for this coming Monday because I'm going to be traveling on that Monday. And uh, so, yeah, we'll do a pre-record, something fun for you guys to see here at the Mothership. Uh, don't forget, the end of the season, on, especially on the West Coast, is coming to an end. Now, this is my plea to you, the owner of a marathon coach. 
If you're looking to get into our service departments, whether that be Florida, Texas, or here at the mothership in Coburg, Oregon, where all of the coaches are built, make sure you call in. Make sure you make an appointment. Call Chris Welch and Kurt Nelson in Oregon. If you're going to Texas, call Chris Lewis. If you're going to Florida, call Joe Steffenzook. Make that appointment with those gentlemen and they will make sure that you're taken care of. That's the best way to take care of you and your coach is to make an appointment prior to you showing up. That is that I'm going to get off my soapbox there now that I'm clean. And uh, that's kind of the thing. Uh, thinking ahead. If you're thinking about, hey, I want to get my coach worked on in August, call. If you're thinking, hey, I want to get my coach worked in April or May, call. Let us know. All right, 1150, 1153, 1152, what are we? 1153, that's right. Get these coach numbers uh, kind of mixed up sometimes. Be yourself and do good things. Have a good week. Uh, the rain is going to continue, but it doesn't stop us from bringing you the best coaches ever built, uh, especially on this Prevo chassis. Take care, everybody. Uh, get a hold of me. Let's do this.